Hey everyone, welcome to another one of my videos to do with calculating the geared cost of equity. Geared cost of equity. This is not as difficult or um, as challenging as what it sounds. What? Let, let me start off this, this question by just doing the following. What do we know about betas as far as the equation is concerned? It's ungeared beta equals geared beta multiplied by equity divided by equity plus debt times the tax shield okay so we know that already that is our formula that we've got to work with okay so let's have a look at the figures and work out what our geared cost of equity is going to be they give us the asset beta of 0.9. We know that asset beta is the ungeared beta, which equals geared beta multiplied by equity, which is 2. Equity is 2 over equity. Excuse me, let me just neaten up here for you guys. Um, equity is 2. 2 plus debt of one so it's one times the tax shield and it's one minus point three right that will give you naught comma nine equals bg multiplied by two divided by two comma seven and what this works out to be is your Geared beta works out to be works out to be one comma two one five. That's your geared beta, right? Now you need to plug this into your capital asset pricing form uh, pricing model formula. So your capital asset pricing model formula, as you will recall, is your cost of equity geared equals risk-free rate risk-free rate plus market rate minus risk-free rate and then that's times the beta so we know we know that the risk-free rate is two percent there's the there it is there the market rate is eight percent there it is but the beta, the geared beta is 1.25%. But something that I just want to point out to you guys quickly, because this does confuse some people in the exams. What you need to realize is, they're not always going to give you the, the, the market rate. They can also give you the market risk premium. So, I know these questions in the exam, you're under a lot of time pressure. And you tend to skim read, but you've got to be careful because if they say the market risk premium, it is a trick question. Okay, the market risk premium is the market rate, market return, minus the risk-free rate. Right? That equals 8%. Okay? So in our question, it was 2% plus... The geared beta of 1.215 multiplied by the market risk premium of 8%. And the number adds up to 11.72%. So the correct answer here is, in this question, the correct answer is D. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like, subscribe, and I um, hope to load a few more videos helping you guys pass your SEMA exams first time.